What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, as I promised, we are gonna get the cab for Long Bed Larry painted. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you what products I used as far as primer, paint, and clear coat, what gun I used, what compressor I used, because I know you guys are all gonna ask. I'm also gonna tell you about any issues I ran into during this paint job. So the cab is over here, it's mostly masked off, it's already primed. The frame and drivetrain is right here. So what we need to do is get the frame and drivetrain out into the driveway. Now there's one problem with that. It is snowing out here. So we're still gonna do it. This thing is tall. It is crazy. So look at this. I'm six foot four. It comes to right where my belt is. Here's the top of the bed. <laughs> this is big and this is on the little tiny tires. So uh, this is going to be a big truck guys. I think uh, we can confirm that at this point. <laughs> Got the truck out of the garage. Still got a tarp up, but uh, my wife should be here any minute. Put a ratchet strap around the bed because we're known to get a lot of wind around here, but this is where it's gonna sit for a little bit. This bay of the garage is cleaned out as much as I need it to be. We've got the cab here, but over there is half the stuff from our house. Rugs, couches, washer and dryer, stuff that I don't wanna get overspray on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a makeshift paint booth. We're gonna run plastic down here on this side, right there, come up by the workbench, and then come straight across here. And that should be probably about a 12 by 20 paint booth. So I got some painter's plastic, so let's start hanging stuff up and see what kind of paint booth we can come up with. happening paint booth is done and we are gonna lay down some paint but here's the cab in here looks good so I gotta remask this hole off and then what I'm gonna do is do one light coat of primer over the seam sealer because everything else is all primed and then we will be ready to lay down some paint All right guys, we got the drip rails primed to cover up some of the seam sealer. That's looking good. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna hit the whole thing with 600 grit and then we're gonna lay down the paint. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, it's the next day. I'm gonna go over this with 600 grit real quick. There's kind of some gritty spots on the roof. So I wanna get those knocked down a little bit. We don't wanna push through to metal though. So let's do that. And then we're gonna spray our base coat and clear coat. All 
right, the cab is ready. It's just drying because I wiped all the sanding dust off, but it is ready for base coat. So I'm gonna get some mixed up and let's get this base coat down. All right, the base coat is down. It looks so good. All right, base coat is done. I showed you guys that flashed off it's time to lay our clear coat I love laying clear coat it just I don't know there's something about it it lays so glossy and it just looks so good after it's done so let's get that laid down All right guys, we did it. It's painted. You'll notice I've changed clothes, I've showered, uh, got cleaned up. So we're gonna let it cure a little bit. I'll give you a sneak peek, but then tomorrow we're gonna tear down the paint booth and see what she looks like. So here it is. All right guys, let's tear down the paint booth and check out the cab. Here she is. So there's two spots where I got a couple issues, not really issues, but both sides of the cab corner right here, the hose rubbed on it in between coats of clear coat. So can't just rub off. There's that side. And here's this side, but I did not paint the rocker panels yet. So when I paint the rocker panels, I'll just mask off from this crease down and repaint those. So not a big deal. But other than that, it turned out beautiful. I am super happy with it. Like I said, no runs, no orange peel that I've seen so far. It just looks really, really good. As far as what tools and products I used, I use this Harbor Freight paint gun. That's the $75 version. It works really, really well for the cost. For primer, I use this U-Pole system. I think it works okay. It's not the most expensive stuff, but it's not the cheapest stuff either. Here's the paint I use, Valspar, and this is the reducer that I use. And here's the clear coat combo that I use, and I really, really like this clear coat. This is 
a, a more expensive one. And then as far as my compressor goes, it is a California Air Tools. Um, it's a 20 gallon and it's ultra quiet air compressor. And I can say it is super quiet. Uh, so this thing handled the job just fine. I never had to stop and let it catch up. So the biggest issue I had with this project and painting it in here, which I'm sure many of you have already commented this down below, was ventilation. I did not have any ventilation. You could see I had a spot open over by the heater that I wanted heat to get in, but it ended up just letting some of the overspray come out. And that was really the only ventilation. And it actually got quite hairy during the clear coat. But Next time I do this, I'm going to build the paint booth toward the garage door so I can crack the door open and vent the fumes out there because I built it on the inside of the garage away from the garage door. I had nowhere to vent the fumes to. So that is the biggest takeaway from doing this if you're going to do it in your garage. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If I can paint something in my garage, I think you guys can too. We'll see you guys in the next one.